Yo, 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 hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're here in year two playoffs. The MFL playoffs contain these teams here in year number two. And your boy has managed the Tennessee Titans roster and has gotten them into the playoffs here at a fifth seed actually, believe it or not. So Denver ended up winning their game. The Buffalo Bills lost their game, which means the Buffalo Bills lost their playoff spot. And so the AFC team, or the AFC side, should I say, looks exactly like this right here. A lot of teams that weren't here last year are here. The Charger, uh, the, I don't know, I don't think the Chargers made it last year. I know the Raiders didn't, Jaguars didn't, Broncos didn't, Titans didn't. I don't think the Dolphins did either. So a lot of a lot of different teams, and the champions are officially eliminated. <laughs> the Bengals end up winning that bye, and the Rams actually get a bye this year. Um, I think they got it last year as well. <clears throat> However, the, the team that came a game just just a game short, losing to the Bills last year, has punched their ticket. Uh, matter of fact, they shot all the way up a third. They get a third seed spot here. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, the Packers back in it. I think the strongest team, though, out of this whole playoffs, if I had to, if I had to personally say it, would be the Atlanta Falcons. They're facing the Washington football team, or, well, no, Washington Commanders now, <laughs> but yeah, uh, the Bucks, Dallas have made it as well, so pretty interesting set of teams here. Today's game, we're going to be focusing on the Tennessee Titans and the Miami Dolphins. This is my team, I want an episode here, uh, this series is, is about a lot of things, it's not just about certain people, certain subscribers, or in general, just subscribers at all. It's, it's about what I want to do. It's about, you know, the MFL and how I want to represent it. And so for the wild card this year, I've made it. I want to remember this game. And it's my first ever playoff game in Mad 23. First time I've ever played here in the playoffs. <clears throat> and it's kind of interesting. I'm still, I'm still looking for a, a quarterback. So we, we drafted Toby Spitzer with our fifth round pick, and he does turn turn out to be a superstar X Factor, but he was a 60, I believe a 69 overall, or something like that, or 65 or something. We've been building on him, working on him, and we've gotten him up to a 73 overall. <laughs> but ultimately, we gave him a little bit of playing time at the end of the year, um, but he was not our starting quarterback for the year. It was kind of clear he wasn't ready. But he did look a little bit better at the end of the year. These are his rookie stats. He finished with 64 completion percentage, 11 interceptions, 9 touchdowns. From Malik Willis, coming into his second year, he got to run the helm of the offense for the first time. Ryan Tannehill did it last year with Malik Willis playing a little bit. But for the most part, he didn't play as much as Tannehill did. We ended up trading Tannehill. As you can see, he actually... He actually, actually almost played him as much as he did this year or last year. So maybe I'm remembering a little bit wrong. Maybe we didn't play Tannehill as much as I thought. And uh, well, you can see he kind of struggled last year, but he has improved technically on almost every aspect. Um, the interceptions to touchdown ratio is just bad, though. He's not, in my opinion, looking like the franchise kind of guy. But uh, he has helped a lot. I think, though, ultimately, he would... I feel bad because we're probably going to end up going with Toby Spitzer. But uh, Malik Willis is a very good quarterback. Look how many times he got sacked this year. 53, 53 times, which is, I believe, the most in... No, the second most in the MFL. Our O-line is actually one of the worst O-lines um, in the league. As we did struggle with... You know, three. We had three retirements last season, all veterans, all from the O line that we had to try and manage to try and replace. And so, coming into this game, this is what the offense is going to look like, and this is probably the the most I'm nervous about. So, our O line overall, overall, we've we've made manageable. We have only one 80 overall plus guy on the O line, so you know, it, it's it's definitely a struggle. Henry didn't do as good, even though he finished second in the league this year. 
Kind of just goes to show how good he is. He did take a step back technically from last year. But overall, we are starting Willis. I want Willis. Willis has done the most work. He's put in the most effort on this team. So I want him to get the start here for the playoffs. Um, Nicole Hardman was a phenomenal pickup because he led the team in receptions. Uh, Woods is kind of taking a step back a little bit. Um, we got Slayton as well that we picked up. Scott Barkley, or no, not Scott Barkley. Oh, yeah, Scott Barkley is his name. This is our tight end rookie. He did decent, nothing too um, you know, crazy, uh, but he did take an injury this year that he was out of the uh, you know, regular season for, I believe it was four or five weeks. For the defense, honestly, th we've actually improved on the defensive side. We actually have, believe it or not, you know, with the pickup of Greg Gaines, who's actually had a huge part in the pass rush. Um, he, he, it may, he may not look like it on the stat sheet with three sacks, but, dude, he's constantly putting pressure on the quarterback. He's a little slower, though, so he doesn't – he's not able to finish them, but he is a big part. Um, Jeffrey Simmons has played well this year. Um, Landry. Uh Kevin Byard, and then, of course, subs uh, not subscriber, but rookie cornerback Junior Walker has had a, a very good rookie year, in my opinion. He's been a, a decent shutdown corner. We'll see if he can, you know, continue that play. So without further ado, it's time to face on the Miami Dolphins. They have Steven Cruz, Timmy Train, Casey Wood. Um, it should be interesting. Those are our subscribers, by the way, if you're just tuning in. Uh, and believe it or not, it's not Tua Tagovailoa at the helm for the Dolphins. It's not Tua who's led them to the playoffs. It's Skylar Thompson. The He's won the, the QB battle. And they're saying that Skylar's our guy. We're going with him. So it'll be interesting. Um... It'll be interesting to see. At running back, they have De uh, Devin Singletary. And then, of course, we're going to have to try and figure out how to stop Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle. So it'll be interesting. Is Oh, no, little little baby Johnny's crying, so I'm going to have to go take care of him, and then we're going to hop into this game. So something I just actually noticed. Casey Wood is not in this game. A PCL sprain is going to uh, sideline him. This actually might help us. Now we just got to focus on stopping Jalen Waddle and... Tyreek Hill, which, uh, <laughs> there's the man that's going to have to do it. I mean, for the, for us, uh, the Titans are going to need to feed the king. So there you see it, the Packers over the Vikings, 42-17. to Wow. That is a huge win. The, the Packers are looking to go back. This is crazy, dude. They're the most successful team, believe it or not. As far as, you know, playoff appearances go, uh, there's Damian Hicks. That's a uh, rookie right there. They are definitely the most successful team here in the MFL. Um, it's cr honestly crazy. I'm kind of tired of seeing them go. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, but there's the man. Uh, you know, not the best numbers. How, you know, what Malik Willis is going to show up is basically the question we ask ourselves here. I think Miami is going to struggle to stop the run. That's one thing I think Tennessee will be able to do. Henry, ha, uh, not the best little start there. But, uh, second and six. Nice run to the outside. Gets the blocks and going down the field. First down, Tennessee. Oh, and that's the center. Garrett Bradbury, not good because the Tennessee Titans do not have a lot of depth at the O-line. They're already the weakest as far as starters go anyways. It's just a dump down to Henry who fights, and he'll pick up about two there. So second and eight. Oh, and it's Scott Barkley going down the sideline. Can he finish? 
Yes, he can! Touchdown, Tennessee Titans! Wow, that is the biggest pass of the year. I, I can't believe it. Wow, it's the rookie tight end. I was hoping he would cut harder than that, but his route running isn't the best. It's Holland, though, that gives away the horrible touchdown. And uh, unfortunately for Bradbury, he's not going to come back. You know, I want to take another look at this here. This is honestly a horrible route running. He's supposed to at the, the cut, like right there, right now, cut. But, he, you know, not the best route running. So, like, that is one of the weakest cuts I've ever seen in my life. Almost becomes a pick, if anything. But thank God. Look, a nice spin. Catch, spin, and keep on moving. Touchdown, Tennessee. Classic Miami giving up uh, a quick touchdown like that. So the Tennessee Titans will go up by seven. It will be now time to tune into that offense and uh, see what Skylar Thompson can do. It's so weird. You know, you think Tua would be the man? Not here in the NFL. And so they're going to start off out on the ground. Both teams seem to kind of start off slowly here. David, uh, Devin Singletary, who's been bouncing around the league now, is uh, traded from Buffalo um, to Houston, and then now ends up here in Miami in the playoffs, and there's a nice run. So I know I was going to say I was going to watch like every subscriber game, but I mean, I don't want to watch, the, you know, the Packers just won. So I think we're just going to keep it the way it is there, 42-17. to 17, And we may watch another wild card game, or we may just go to the division round. I am yet, have yet to decide. Is this a fumble? Are you kidding me? Let's go. Are you kidding me? He fumbled it back, and Miami has it. It's Jalen Waddle to the house. No freaking way. No, f no way. Uh-uh. I don't believe it. you got to be kidding me right now. Just the way my why does the replay look so bad? That was weird. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. That is total BS, man. Wow. It's Edwards, the dude trying to, you know, make up for the Casey Wood injury here. And it's an amazing play by the defense for the Titans. Pick the ball up, and then Edwards is going to rip it back out? Or no, it's going to be Mills that punches it out. That's clearly a fumble. And then Jalen Waddle takes it, and he's he's gone to the house. I can't believe this. Like, What? Wow. You, you, you just can't write this stuff up. Well, 7-7. Seven to seven. And just like that, Miami ties the game on a fluke Duke touchdown, if, if I've ever seen one. So first and 10 here. Come on, baby. Oh, Henry. Oh, yeah, they don't have run D. <clears throat> they don't have run D. I, I had a feeling Miami, you know, they look a little weak up front. If I can be quite honest, they look a little bit weak up front. So here you go. First and 10, Tennessee. Going to keep feeding the king here. And he'll spin off one and then brought down, set up a second and one. Oh, he's open. Oh, let's go. No, you're not catching. Get off of him. Derrick Henry to the house. Let's go. Big play offense, dude. I promise you guys, we were not playing like this at all regular season. Second and nine. Miami got lucky last drive. We'll see if uh, they can be a little more persuasive with this offense. I'm just not buying it right now. Third and six. Skylar Thompson in the pocket. Another dump down. That's Jalen Waddle. Get him involved. Pick up the first down. Skylar Thompson three for three. 
Thompson going, dumping it down. There's Edwards once again. Oh, man in motion. The Hill's going to keep it. Cuts it to the inside. Oh. Quick, nasty cut. There's Farley with the tackle. That was actually Mills. On the play. Single Terry. This time it's Gaines up there. And uh, he's. I'm so glad I picked him up. He has actually been a pretty big part of this defense. Third and four. Thompson by himself having too much time. Oh, he overthrows Hill and it's intercepted Farley. That's the interception we needed, baby, to turn this game. Oh, pressure's coming in quickly. Willis has to get rid of it. Wow. That was insane. Goodness. Willis has to get out of the pocket again. He's going to keep it alive. And picks up the first down and holds on to it. Malik Willis. I don't know if his job is completely taken by, by Toby Spitzer. Superstar X Factor or not, Toby's not going to be able to do that. I guarantee you. Oh, Slayton, can he cut it to the outside? He breaks one. He's still staying up, Slayton. But just going to be sure. He was fighting, though. So third and three here. Chance to get off the field for the Titans. You don't want to give something up like this here. Skylar Thompson stepping back in the pocket. Oh, no, it's another dump down. Waddle not going to be able to pick up the first down. That's a huge stop for the Tennessee Titans. But Miami will set up for the field goal here. And it's up and almost blocked. But does go through. So 10 to 14 here in Miami, Florida. We got us a game. So first and 10, Tennessee. We'll see how they respond after giving up the three. Oh, wait. Wait, what? What? Hold on. Did I just miss that? Did they not make it? He missed it. Oh, I, oh, I can't watch it back. I guess you guys were saying it had to have been close, though, right? I swear it looked like it went into me. I don't have any game sound, so. Okay, so Tennessee gets away with one then. Up 14 to 7 here. Breaking off one, Scott Barkley been a big part so far today. Four out of seven for Malik Willis. Tennessee looking like they're going to try and put some more points on the board here if they can. Pressure coming. and th Oh, my goodness. Hill takes a sack that you just, you don't, you cannot do that. And that's going to set back the Titans huge here. Oh, my. And then Willis throws an interception. That Miami just knew. No, okay. Tennessee's falling apart right now. We'll see what Miami does here on third and five. They're going to pass it. Thompson. Pressure. And he's going to go down there. You can tell he was panicking just a little bit. Second and ten. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. What a pass to Slayton. And he's going to be able to get out of bounds of that. See, to me, that's Miami just playing a little too lax. I mean, he's wide open and able to get out of bounds. But luckily for them, oh, no, a 56-yard field goal is makeable, which is exactly what we're going to try and do here with Bullock. Can he nail it? And it is good. 56-yard field goal to take away the three from Miami. 17 to 10 going into halftime. So the longest field goal made in MFL history is a 58-yarder. How about a 56? Pretty close. All right, so that'll set up a first and 10 for Miami. I think it's definitely been Tennessee's favor, but... uh. You know, Miami only scoring on that weird fumble 
fumble touchdown as Wow Singletary up the gut finding nine against all the odds setting up a second and one they're gonna hit the ground once again it's Kevin Beard or Byard comes in with the with the hit there and now it's another run this time to the outside not gonna happen that's Barnett the rookie I think we drafted him in like the sixth round or the seventh round actually second and 12 Thompson in the pocket finding Jalen Waddle and picking up the first down I think for Miami they need to get him and Hill way more involved I think Tennessee's done a very good job at keeping them too quiet today and now they're going to go back to Singletary who cuts it up the numbers and first down that's a 12 yard run Thompson all by himself in the pocket and it's Tyreek Hill torching the zone touchdown Miami wow Willis has only thrown the ball 10 times here today not, not bad and that's Hardman's first catch by the way that's a pick. Oh, my God. Can't believe I did that again. And Malik Willis. His second pick of the day. I knew that was a pick coming when it, when it came out of my hand. Now it's Thompson. On the screen, this is Edmonds. Touchdown. And there's Chase Edmonds going in. Oh, my goodness. And uh, poor defense is tired, man. For the Tennessee Titans, they're going to have to to fix these these turnovers. And they're going to have to fix them quick. So after the turnover here, Miami scored a touchdown. 24-17 here. We'll see how the Titans respond. They hand it off to Henry, who fights, but, you know, you can only rely on that run game so much before you're going to have to have success in the air game. Like, Oh, and he had Hardman open, but held on to the ball way too long there. And they're going to go for it here. I think you got to. Momentum is, is completely shifted. You got you to gotta stop it right here, right now. Oh, no. Pressure getting there. And he's going to go when it's intercepted. And he's trying to cut it all the way outside. Oh, my goodness. Three interception from Malik Willis. You got to be freaking kidding me, man. Oh, and we can't even watch it all the way back. But the line just completely broke down. Willis throws it. And, um, well, Hardman just, well... This is my annoyance here with Madden. Hard, Hardman's just gonna sit here like he's taking a dump. You know, he's he's just take he's constipated. He's a wide receiver, but he's just gonna sit there and look dumbfounded. Huge, huge play by the Tennessee Titans defense. Oh my God, they missed it again. Oh, dude, the AI for for the kickers, man, is so bad. Feel so bad for them. Like EA, man, you guys gotta fix those things in your game, man. It's pretty crazy. First and ten, Tennessee gets bailed out by the defense. Can they figure out a way to get this game back in their favor? Well, you know Henry uh, is definitely a big part of it. How much more juice does he have left in his tank? Is the question. Kobe Spitzer checks in. The rookie. Off the mark. He had a guy wide open. Like wide open. So Malik Willis gets benched here in the wild card round. That's after throwing three picks. Henry off one and then gets brought down by the legs. A weird animation there, but third and two. Tennessee has their rookie 
fifth round draft pick in there. But they picked up and Henry fighting for the first down and he, and he gets it. He is the only hope, the only glimmer of hope that this team has. Oh, and pre okay. Un un oh my goodness, dude. The O line in this game is so broken. It's so bad. I mean, I, I I don't know. I'm frustrated as well because, I mean, our line is not good, but they shouldn't be that bad, man. Oh my goodness. Just gonna dump it down here and so get in field goal range. Do you take the field goal here? Do you go for it? Fourth and eleven. We're gonna trust in our defense. We're gonna we're gonna. We're going to go for it here. Go for the field goal. This one's up, and it is right down the middle, baby. There's still plenty of time left. We get another stop on defense. Um, you know. Bringing in Toby Spitzer didn't really change much, though, so that does worry me for the offense. 20 to 14, or 24. It's crazy because we started off so strong in the game, throwing two big bombs, and then... Oh, nothing much after that. Skylar Thompson and the Tennessee Titans get a three and out. Junior Walker with a great catch. And it should be McCole Hardman for the return. Fox, the, wow, the superstar punter. You got to love that. Cutting it back and going to get to the 34. So now it's Toby Spitzer. They're keeping Toby Spitzer out there. Oh, oh, that's Hardman. That's Hardman. You're going to have to double him. Toby Spitzer, two for three. We've been taking advantage of number nine all day. And that's that one-on-one. -on -one. Toby Spitzer seen it. Are you kidding me as I say that? Uh, I throw another pick. Two, four interceptions as a team. The interceptions in this game got to get toned down, dude. This is fucking insane. It's never hurt so much to lose against my favorite team, but uh, we don't deserve to win this game. Uh, the, you know, there's some things I'm really trying to fix and figure out with the sliders. The interceptions is the biggest thing. Four interceptions. You're not going to win a game like that. Two of them, I'll 100% take the blame. The other two seem a little weird. But for the most part, Miami deserves the win. You know, with all that, regardless, you know, we... we so the Raiders we, we over still the lost. Chargers, the Broncos eliminate the Jags, and Dolphins eliminate the Titans. So that my whole division got eliminated. So that's going to leave the Raiders and Dolphins and the Bengals and Broncos. For the Jamie Bell and that squad, I, I actually wanted to really watch your, watch y'all's game, but nah, I'm sorry, you know, just got a lot going on and just don't have time. But you guys fall, which really, I, I have the curse. I'm sorry, Jamie. I, I, I cursed your team. I talked good about you and then you got eliminated. And so now it's going to be Donnie Watson and J.A. going on to take the best team in the league, the L.A. Rams. For Kyler Gordon, possibly another shot. <laughs> I don't want to talk too good about you and jinx you, but uh, you moved on there and you got the Buccaneers as they beat Dallas. So the Rams, Washington, and Packers, Bucks. Without further ado, I know uh, I try not to get too frustrated here, but uh, this was definitely a frustrating episode. There's certain things about this game that just get under my skin, and the interceptions is one of them. Uh, it's just the lack of effort the wide receivers tend to put in to the plays on some of the passes. It just gets under my skin. I don't know. I feel, I feel like overall, though, we still lost, and um, Miami was the better team. So... You know, it is what it is. We played competitive 24-20. to 20, um, And we'll just have to try again next year. So, 
That's going to do it for me, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, let me know if you did. And until next time, see you in the next one.